Let me go over a quick explanation of what's happening with the electrospray collision induced association of caffeine on the Xactive setup. Here we have a composite photograph of an electrospray needle with a plume. So this outside diameter is about half of a millimeter. The actual needle is up here. Right, and this is a false color rendition. Obviously, if it's spraying, it's not going to be blue and red. So let's just limit our case to positive electrospray. So here is where the, the pos on the outside of the mass spec is where the positive ions would be generated, and then they have to make their way, and this is a stylized version, into the mass spec. Right, this is that atmosphere. This is going to be under some sort of vacuum, and the vacuum is going to get better the deeper it goes into the mass spec. Right. And then typically there's an opening into the mass spec, obviously. Um, and then that opening has to have some sort of a charge in order to prevent the ions from grounding out and losing their charge on, uh, as they're making their way into the mass spec. So if this was a positive ion and this was negative, all the ions would be attracted here. You wouldn't, it, none of the positive ions would make their way into the mass spec. So that, that's why in this, in, on this plate uh, or opening, we're going to have some sort of a charge. And this charge right, can, some companies call it skimmer voltage, some call it orifice potential. Right. Uh, it also helps break up solvent clusters, and uh, so in the exactive situation, we had it going from 24 volts to 50 volts, and as the voltage increases, it effectively squeezes the ions together, and so they'll be more prone to interact and run into each other, hence induce dissociation by a collision. The other way we could induce collision is suppose we had some sort of a gas barrier that we increase the density. And so that's what the sweep gas setting does on the Xactive. As the sweep gets higher, then we have more nitrogen here in this area that the ions run into collide with hence inducing collision, uh, hence inducing dissociation, I'm sorry. So if we take a look at our spectra, okay, so at 24 volts, uh, skimmer voltage, no sweep gas, we have our M plus one, no collision induced dissociation. If we then increase the skimmer voltage, right, sweep is still zero, then uh, we do have some fragments, and 139, 110. And the other way we can induce fragmentation is having this low voltage, but increasing the sweep, say, to two, and now we have the 138 and the uh, 110 ions, the fragmentation. These uh, CID spectra for caffeine are pretty similar to the 70 EV EI spectra. There's a, a website uh, that goes into the fragmentation of the of caffeine. Uh, the link is in the show more. Essentially, uh, for that 138. All right. So for positive electrospray, we're going to we're going to put the proton here and uh, then the, fr the fragmentation occurs by, by losing this O, C, N, C portion, all right, so that part gets lost, and then uh, for the 110, the additional 28 is lost by there, so then, um, and you see that, you see those same sort of ions, either in uh, collision-induced dissociation or electron impact.